हेलो एवरीवन आई एम प्रवीण बी आर फ्रॉम साई विद्या इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी टुडे आई विल बी टीचिंग यू एन एक्सपेरिमेंट फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन लैबोरेटरी टू द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज ऑन स्विनबर्न टेस्ट स्विनबर्न टेस्ट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज अ नो लोड टेस्ट सो लेट एस सी वॉट इज द एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट स्विनबर्न टेस्ट इज डन टू कैलकुलेट द एफिशियंसी ऑफ द मशीन when it is working as the generator and a motor and we are going to plot the frequency and the efficiency curves so let us see what is the circuit diagram the circuit diagram consists of the positive of the dc supply is connected to the ammeter positive so this is the ammeter which we are going to consider so the positive of the supply is connected to the positive of the ammeter another end of the ammeter negative of the ammeter is connected to the starter first end the starter first end is called as line so it is connected to the line end l is called as the line end so line is connected to the negative of the supply negative of the ammeter another end of the uh, uh, starter that is a is called as armature is connected to the armature end so this is the armature end another end of the armature is connected to the negative of the supply another end of the uh, armature is connected to the field winding another end of the field winding is connected to the rheostat another end of the rheostat is connected to the field end of the starter so a starter consists of line armature and field so field is connected to the rheostat the rheostat is kept in the cutout position cutout is the minimum position so how do we start the particular thing so initially the rheostat will be in the minimum position so by adjusting the rheostat by varying the rheostat we are going to keep the speed of the motor in, uh, to the rated speed that is 1500 rpm and note down the readings of voltmeter and ammeter and thus we will uh, determine the efficiency of the machine so let us start calculating it so let us switch on the supply so once we switch on the supply we are going to use the dc starter and going to turn on the at the minimum position this will be the speed so by varying the rheostat we are going to adjust it to the rated speed of 1500 rpm so let us adjust it to 1500 rpm so this is the 1500 rpm 1500 rpm so let us note down the voltmeter reading which is connected in parallel to the armature and let us collect uh, calculate the ammeter so let us note down the voltmeter and ammeter reading the voltmeter reading is 211 volts and ammeter reading is 2.05 amps after noting down the voltmeter and ammeter readings we will bring back the rheostat to the cutout position and then we are going to switch off the supply and turn off the supply further we will calculate the measurement of armature resistance how do we calculate the supply is connected to the positive of the ammeter another end of the ammeter is connected to the armature so we have connected another end of the negative of the uh, ammeter to the armature another end of the armature is connected to the load we have used a resistive load bank of 10 amperes so we will be connecting it to the resistive load bank the resistive load bank has two terminals one end is connected to the other end of the armature whereas another end of the load is connected to the negative of the supply the voltmeter is connected across the armature how do we calculate the armature resistance we will switch on the supply so once the supply is turned on we will vary the load by in steps of 2 amperes and take down the three trials so in the first trial we will 
switch on two switches which is equal to two amperes and note down the value of voltmeter and note down the value of ammeter. For the second trial, we will turn on the third and the fourth switch which is equal to four amperes and we will note down the voltmeter reading and we will note down the ammeter reading. For the third trial, we will switch on the fifth and the sixth switch which is equal to 6 amperes. Note down the voltmeter reading, note down the ammeter reading. We will turn off the load by bringing it back to its original position. So this is the original position. Original position is the off position. So this turns off the load. After bringing back to its original position, we will switch off the supply. Hence, the experiment practically is completed. The experiment is practically completed. We will move on to the calculations as per the manual. Thank you everyone.